Assalamualaikum everyone and Dr. Saiful Iskandar who is our lecturer in this subject in mitigation, rivering and flood. At our group, we will present mitigation measure during and post flood in Malaysia. Uh, my teammates who, is, who are Muhammad Fahmi, Nur Kaisa, Nurul Laidatu Khadiza will be perform this presentation. In Malaysia, flooding has affected many areas since 1971. In 1972, the government established the Natural Disaster Management and Relief Committee and the MRRC because of this incident. After the phenomenon happened, government coordinated flood relief operation at every stage of national, state and district levels. Malaysia managed this flood disaster according to National Security Council and SC Directive No. 20 and Fixed Operating Regulation PTO. The objective of this management is reducing flood and damage, preventing loss of human life. Disaster management in Malaysia has three levels with own responsibility. Level 1, the committed ensure coordinate action with sufficient asset and human resources in relation to the media. Level 2, will provide to the district assistance such as financial aid, assets and human resources. And last but not least is level 3, it determine the national disaster management policy, finance, asset and human resources. The roles of delivery system were the methods to be used in holistic manner for giving information and assistance for every phase. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment introduced five strategies that are most effective in flood management. Firstly, is prevention. It is to avoiding construction of houses, properties and industry in present and future flood. A second, protection reduce the likelihood and the impact of flood in specific location with the government taking structural and non-structural measure. Third, preparedness to give information to the public about what to do in the event of flooding and about flood risk. And then, emergency action. In case of flood, developing the emergency response, formulate plans and action. And lastly, recovery and lesson learned. After flooding and disaster, return to normal condition as soon as possible and immigrate to both social and economic impact. Pre-disaster is an early warning system that is essential mechanism for providing timely and accurate information to those who are exposed to the hazard. The Department of Irrigation and Drainage Malaysia, DID, is responsible for providing flood forecasting and warning service to the public. For example, the first flood warning service was provided for the flood event of 1925 when the flood occurred along the Kinta River in Perak, Klang River in Selangor, Burnham River in Selangor and the Perak Boundary. The objective of the readiness is to lower the potential risk of the flood disaster by early warning system and steps that can be implemented to minimize its effects. Currently, the short message system SMS is used to warn relevant authorities in control of government agencies such as the police, army, Malaysia Meteorological Department, DID and the Prime Minister Department National Security Division BKN. The information through SMS will reach the public more effectively. This system is supported by SAHU 2006 because SMS is an effective notification system that can reach a large number of people and is functionally resilient to disaster by using the appropriate language especially in the rural areas. This could be directly assessed by the public and the governmental official. The public info bandage system enables effective early flood warning dissemination to the public through the internet access everywhere and at any time. Oftenly, the practical flood warning and evacuation system are aligned to the public who are accustomed to the traditional FWES. Further to that, the operational flood forecasting system form a key part of preparedness strategy for disastrous flood event by early warning several days ahead, giving flood forecasting service, civil protection authorities, and the public adequate preparation time. Thus, this can reduce the impact of the flooding. There are two mitigation measures during flood disaster which are flood relief machinery and flood management emergency. Firstly, for the flood relief machinery, it involves top-down management approach. Firstly, it includes Natural Disaster Relief Committee, which is responsible in coordinating relief operations at federal, state and district levels in order to provide assistance to flood victims in an orderly and effective manner. 
taken, Department of Irrigation and Drainage Malaysia, DID. DID begins to monitor closely the flood situation using the real-time telemetry data and river forecasting computer models and advise the relevant flood control centers during the flood season. And lastly, National Security Division of the Prime Minister Department. They are responsible in provide rescue, shelter, food and medical supplies for the flood victims. Second is Flood Management Emergency, which is led by Army and Public Defense Services. They are responsible in successful rescuing victims and reduction of property losses during the flood occurs. Second, they provide the assistance to victims or transfer them from the flood zone. And lastly, they help and guide the flood victims to safety in the fastest possible routes during flooding occurs. Next is Post Disaster Recovery. Post-disaster recovery is to ensure that the redevelopment of recovery plan can support and guide the long-term recovery efforts and sustainability. The physical planning of post-disaster recovery should be considered as the long-term recovery and the redevelopment phase which include effort to reconstruct and enhance the built environment while at the same time recover the economic, environment and social system. Based on the 11 Malaysia plans, Nation Development is focusing on the climate change adaptation measures and disaster risk management towards developing disaster resilient cities. Some of the efforts that have been taken by the Malaysian government are strengthening the disaster risk management, improve flood mitigation and enhance steps to climate change adaptation. The basis to post-disaster recovery is based on the three crucial policies which are building back better, converting adversity into opportunity and prioritizing proper recovery. In the process of building back after a disaster, it is important to ensure the newly constructed infrastructures are built to be more resilient and able to withstand a certain level of disaster recurrence. Element of disaster risk reduction should be incorporated in the planning, redesign, construction and the operation of the built environment. The effectiveness of policy implementation and the assistance provided in a timely manner can provide an immediate impact on the victims. A delivery system for flood victims in Malaysia is based on two forms, which are financial and non-financial assistance. The tremendous amount of financial allocation in areas such as physical infrastructure development will be needed to carry out on an effective flood management strategy. This includes the construction of large dams, canalization of rivers, and building high capacity sewage treatment plants to restore polluted rivers to their original clean water quality condition. In conclusion, our country measure has methods which used in a holistic manner for giving information and assistance pre disaster, during, and post disaster when flooding occurs in the flooding prone areas. And Malaysia also need to improve pre-disaster delivery system to prevent the negative impact and flood damage in the future because of changing climate with different pattern. And lastly, the government must play an important role in providing effective service for flood victims. These are our references of this study.